Ever wondered how a Portuguese princess brought tea to the English royalty? Curious about the secret behind adding milk to English tea? Join us on 5 o'clock tea as we unravel the fascinating journey of tea in England. Our story begins in the 17th century when the British East India Company embarked on ambitious voyages to the Far East, particularly China, in search of exotic goods. It was during these expeditions that the English first encountered tea. They were captivated by its aroma and taste, finding it a refreshing alternative to the alcoholic beverages prevalent at the time. Did you know? The first shipment of tea to England was brought by the Dutch in 1610, but it wasn't until the British East India Company took control that tea became a national obsession. It was in 1662 that Catherine of Braganza, a Portuguese princess, married King Charles II of England. Catherine was an avid tea drinker, having grown up with the tradition in her homeland. Her love for tea spread throughout the royal court, making it fashionable among the elite. Did you know? Catherine of Braganza's dowry to King Charles II included the territory of Bombay, which later played a crucial role in the development of the British tea trade. The introduction of tea to England coincided with the establishment of the British East India Company's monopoly over the tea trade. As the company gained control of this lucrative market, tea became more accessible and affordable for the general population. Did you know? The British East India Company not only brought tea to England, but also played a significant role in the establishment of British rule in India. However, it was the initiative of one man that truly transformed tea into a national obsession. Enter Thomas Twining, the founder of Twining's, the famous tea brand. In 1706, Twining opened London's first tea shop, offering an extensive selection of teas from around the world. Did you know? Thomas Twining's tea shop is still in operation on the Strand in London and holds the world's oldest continually used company logo. With the advent of tea shops, the English began to gather in these establishments to savour their favourite brew. Tea became a social ritual, bringing people together to discuss politics, literature, and society. The tradition of afternoon tea, introduced by Anna, the Duchess of Bedford, in the 1840s, further solidified tea's position as an integral part of British culture. Did you know? The concept of afternoon tea was initially a private affair for the Duchess and her friends. It later evolved into a social event for the wider public. Now, let's talk about how the English drink their tea. Unlike other tea-drinking cultures, the English prefer to add milk to their tea. This tradition has its roots in the 17th century when porcelain cups were fragile and prone to cracking when hot tea was poured into them. To prevent this, milk was added first, acting as a cooling agent before the tea was poured. Did you know? The practice of adding milk to tea has cultural significance and was often associated with social class. The wealthier classes could afford the fine porcelain that could withstand hot tea, allowing them to pour the tea first. Over time, adding milk became a preference rather than a necessity, and it continues to be an iconic aspect of British tea culture. Here's a fun fact, the concept of adding milk to tea gained even more popularity during the Victorian era, where it became a symbol of refinement and sophistication. Did you know? During the Victorian era, a strict tea-drinking etiquette emerged, governing everything from the way the teapot was poured to the proper way to hold a teacup. So, the next time you enjoy a cup of tea, take a moment to appreciate the long and fascinating journey it undertook to reach your teacup. From the shores of China to the palaces of England, tea has woven itself into the tapestry of British history. That's it for today's episode of 5 O'Clock Tea. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the history of tea in England. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep steeping and sipping.